is Chris with the Invictus Fighting System at Invictus Defense Academy here in Beaverton, Oregon. And right now we are going to post a video of a uh, common stabbing defense. And a lot of times in Krav Maga gyms, you'll see this done with like a stick. Or they'll say it's coming with a garden tool. They got the stick like this and they're stabbing like this. You have to remember that Krav Maga was built originally as a military based system. So that's why you'll see me do the demonstration first with a rifle with a, a bayonet kind of attached to it. That's our training bayonet. So you got to remember this came from a bayonet defense first. And then later we've changed it into more of a stick stab or somebody picking up like a garden tool and stabbing you with it. The biggest difference is you have to know the heritage of the system. You have to know the why behind everything. And we're gonna give that to you with the Invictus fighting system. So understand that stick stab never really originated that way. It originated as a bayonet stab. And here's how to handle it. So now he goes to do that stab. I deflect, I grab a kick. Oh, here. I'm gonna do the same thing that we did before. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna get this thing out from under his shoulder. And now I'm gonna take that bayonet, I'm gonna rotate it towards his face, and I'm gonna butt stroke him all the way up, kicking, and now I can charge and I can come back up and... and Notice I said, you're gonna have to do killing. Yes, because you gotta remember, it's, again, it's a military-based system. Now that we're in the civilian sector of things, you have to have the legal justification to use lethal force. Something else that we cover here at Invictus Fighting System is understanding your self-defense laws appropriate to your state. So only when you're taking away the rifle do you immediately go to a killing state because it's a military tactic and more likely than not, we can articulate um, you know, loss of life and extreme you know, um, uh, necessity for, for that level of force. So understand, you're gonna have to justify everything. I have another video where I say don't recock the weapon and aim at it. I'll post that soon. Here, keep going. Again, remember this is a war fighting tactic, so you can get away with that because it's a military base, right? So here. And notice I go nice and slow so that way I don't crack him. I come back up, charge if you're using one of the rifles. If we're using a stick, all right, so I'm here, uh, right here, and then I can use it if I need to. All right, one more time. Deflecting, grabbing, kicking, here. Same principle, I row out like I'm rowing a canoe. Stick stays parallel to my hips. And I push with my legs. I want this to go up to his cheek, boom. This one, bang, back over to his cheek. Last time, one. Pull, cheek, cheek, bang. Yeah, and if you are going to use a stick, again, make sure you have unincorporated movement and you're using all of your tools. Now you'll notice I said use or incorporated movement. Incorporated movement is a term that means you're using all of your appendages. A lot of times when people get the stick or they get the knife or whatever, they get very focused on using only that tool and they forget they have another hand to punch with. They have another hand to grab with. They have another elbow. They can use both of their legs, you know, for knees and kicking. Um, you know, you want to refrain from using the attacker's weapon against them. I will post my tactical advice on that soon, but um, you're going to want to make sure that when, once you take that weapon, don't just focus on having that stick or that pipe or whatever the hell it is that you just took out of their hand. Use all of your weapons, punches, kicks, headbutts, elbows, knees, all of the good striking that you learned in tan belt, you're gonna need for this gray belt right, technique. guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like it, please share it, get the word out there, subscribe to the Invictus Fighting System page uh, on Instagram and uh, watch the Invictus Defense page on Instagram and Invictus Defense Academy on Facebook. We really appreciate all of your guys' support. So like, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please either DM me or put it in the comment section. I will try to get back to you as soon as I humanly can. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the mats.